Step one in applying SuperTech Matte Clear is to load your garment onto the press and ensure a completely flat printing area. After that, you're ready to set up your temperature and your time for application. In this case, SuperTech Matte Clear applies at 280 degrees for two separate steps of five seconds each. So I've set both of my timers on this machine for five seconds each. At that point, you're ready to adjust the pressure. The pressure adjustment knob on the Hotronics Auto Open Clam is over the center and it has a digital pressure readout. Now I'm gonna lock the press down to test my pressure, but because I'm decorating a garment that has a Nike swoosh up on the plant and I wanna make sure I just cover that with a cover sheet so I don't ruin my press. So let's lock this down and the pressure needs to be at a medium. It's reading at a six, which is perfect. A four, five, or six on that pressure display is a medium for this machine. Now in the process of checking my pressure, I've went ahead and already preheated the garment, so I am ready to position my design into place. Now, SuperTech Matte Clear comes to you just like this. It's printed in a mirror image and ready for heat application. And so you wanna make sure you have the correct side of your transfer face down, and so your design reads correctly. I'll position that into place. It does not have a sticky backing, so you wanna be delicate when you're laying your cover sheet on top or use thermo tape. And now I'm gonna heat press for the first step, which is five seconds at that 280 degrees. Now this product is a cold peel, and then I'll need to put it back onto the press for an additional five seconds. If you're pressing onto 100% polyester fabrics, typically you can get away with peeling it while it's still on the press. If you're decorating 100% cotton or a high cotton content, it's best to remove the garment from the press, let it cool down before you peel. But in this case, this garment is a dry fit garment. It's primarily polyester, so it's cooled down for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab the corner and delicately remove the backing. At this point, it's not completed until I cover it with a cover sheet and give it that final application of five seconds. So again, 280 degrees, two steps of five seconds each at a medium pressure, and now I have a highly durable, completed result.